Hi everyone, it's uh, Simon Keeling here and it's Sunday the 1st of January. Very happy new year to you. Thanks for all your continued support of the site throughout last year. Let's hope it continues this year. And as always, the site is um, kept revenue free by the revenue, kept free of charge by the revenue that uh, the adverts around the site generate. So thank you uh, for all your support this year. Big news this morning is that chart. This is from the GFS, valid for 14th of January. And look, high pressure's in. But this northerly flow is what's of interest. This is a fundamental shift in pattern um, showing on the models. And it's this that I've been hinting at now for the last week or two. So this is how I build up our picture of a change taking place around the middle of the month. This is the 7 to 10 day means um, for the um, ECMWF on the left here and the GFS on the right here. Now these are a little bit early for our change because these actually take us from next Sunday through to Wednesday the 11th so a little bit earlier than um, than we're looking at for the change taking place but there is a marked difference between the models this again builds on the impression of a change of, of pattern taking place in the middle of the month you see when the models disagree that's when there's um, disagreement in the algorithms there's no real coherence as to how the models see things going forward and it's a good sign of a change, a significant change in atmospheric circulation. Got a feeling what's going on here is that we're going to lose this zonal westerly flow. It's not going to be quite so strong and that's going to allow cold air to sink south and things to change. <clears throat> so this is how things look then. Here's the ECMWF on the left here, the GFS on the right. So this is the 7 to 10 day mean. Notice how the ECMWF is building a big ridge through the British Isles. Look and linking it into the ridge across central parts of Russia with less of a trough here over the eastern coast of the states. GFS keeps high pressure down towards the south, these above normal heights here, but look it doesn't link it in with that across northern parts of Russia. So we've got a discrepancy taking place and it also deepens this trough off the eastern coast of the states. So this picture is building all the time of the change ahead. This is how the um, models see the North Atlantic Oscillation over the next few days. You can see how it's got this inexorable decline going down to neutral uh, as we get into the middle of the month. This 13th, 14th of January period, it seems that that's going to be the critical period. And once it gets down to neutral, that's when we're losing these stronger westerly flows. Take a look at the Arctic Oscillation, see how that backs things up. And again, look a gradual decline into negative territory and this here is where we lose the westerlies around the poles which keep that cold air all the way up north into the poles and allow it to drain southwards at times so once you lose that and the cold air drains south that's when you've got to be look on the lookout for things um, here's how uh, the next seven day shapes up though uh, temperature anomaly where well, we're above normal across much of the UK and across Europe too. Starting to get to nearer normal levels across the east of the UK in terms of temperature. As far as precipitation goes, um, looking like we are uh, around or above normal for many northern and western parts of the UK, below normal to the east and just in the southwest here. And that's entirely what you'd expect to see with a westerly flow because the next week is going to be bringing westerly winds. It will have rain at times. It will be windy at times too, particularly on Tuesday with some severe gales going through. And there will be snow over the hills of Scotland, perhaps even snow over the hills of northern England too. So we've got some cooler weather in the week ahead. It's just that temperatures will vary quite widely and should generally be around or above normal for the early part of January. And just to show you this um, difference uh, in the models, here we have the GFS run from 6 o'clock this morning. This is valid for Sunday the 15th and this is the 500 millibar flow. And we've got the jet stream coming across the Atlantic here and look how that dips south into the Mediterranean. This conducive to forming a cold pool here in the Mediterranean or over Eastern Europe which really could get in the way and block things and perhaps potentially split this jet north and south which then allows high pressure to be building in close to the UK bringing cooler conditions. Compare that to the um, CMC. This is from the Canadian Meteorological Service. This is for the same period. And look, yes, they've got a ridge there. And yes, they've got a trough here. But it's much, much flatter. So they're not seeing things developing as the GFS are. Now, I'm kind of torn between these two solutions at the moment because I do agree that this change is underway for the middle of the month. But I'm not actually keen on the idea of it being high pressure that then dominates things. 
I suspect this jet will slip its way southwards and probably get through this sort of zone here, so through northern parts of France into central parts of Europe. I suspect high pressure probably builds in this area here towards the north, bringing us an easterly flow through the uh, through the UK. So I actually still go with my idea that it's going to be this sort of jet that goes southwards and the high north and northeast of the UK with an easterly flow developing across the country um, that seems to be the most logical solution at the moment, not the anticyclone centred across the country. Now, of course, things can change. They probably will. And I stress again, this is not last year. I don't expect this deep freeze of last year, but it could be that we get 10 to 14 days of what you might call proper winter weather. So colder for all, threes and fours by day is a maximum, minus twos, minus threes overnight, and snow at times, perhaps on two or three days. That's what I'm looking at at the moment. Of course, it can all change. It's very early days, but the signals are there and they're building all the time. So keep the sun shining today. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day and um, we'll be back again with an update very, very soon.